sword and punch and such like that, Chun Li I felt like out of all the characters had the most. Mm. So on Roundhouse, you saw her. She had her third strike, little hopping Roundhouse, which goes over lows. Right. Uh, she has back Roundhouse, which is the straight up kick that can be used as anti air. She even had her old Alpha One flip kick, where she would actually do the handstand and come down with like an axe kick. That was just offensive crouch plus medium kick. Yeah, that's not that's not a special move anymore. Yeah. That's just mm -hmm. a, a normal. Okay, so this is Grand Finals. It's three out of five between Huda Man and LPN. You said there's a lot of experience between these two yeah. against each other. Not in this game. Oh, you saw him right there. He absorbed the jump roundhouse. Yeah. So Bison's V skill can absorb moves, but if it's a multi-hit move, you're gonna get body, pretty much. So we'll get to see how, yeah, yeah there it is. nice, good stuff. Using the EX there. Yeah, I don't think it's invincible though. I got hit out of that plenty of times Oh, time really? Yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see that standing forward, still a great poke for Bison. Don't have quite that standing roundhouse. Yeah, if you don't hold the V skill, then he won't throw the fireball. So you right. can play kind of a little mind game there. And keep in mind, you know, you're you're giving him V trigger as that happens. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen v, v trigger really do much. Now we're gonna get a chance. Look yep. at those dashes. Yeah. They're, and by the way, they're actually invincible during some of that time. Right. And you saw right there how the stomp changed so much. Mm -hmm. He disappears and comes out with stomp. He yep. Scissors. Oh. Everything changes a little bit. All the specials. Yeah, V-Trigger still going down, but every time he uses the special move, you saw how the V-Trigger drained a much faster. Right. So you, it will drain by itself eventually, but you can hold on to it a little bit and find the right moment to do your special moves. Alright, good corner pressure. Oh, we tried to get under him, but nice throw from LPN. Takes him back into the corner, but then he corners himself again, giving Huda Man an opportunity now. The EX scissors seemed pretty safe. It did actually, yeah. yeah uh -huh. Even oh, nice. By the way, even roundhouse scissors seemed pretty safe because it pushed him back. Yeah, it pretty was distance. well. It His was distance. distance. Be yeah, medium did not. Yes, medium. but the other ones all seem like they're pretty good. I mean, look, obviously that's you know <laughs> day one. Too much time. Yeah, it's not even. It's day minus however many. So right. it's, there's gonna be a lot of changes. True. A lot of what we see now obviously is gonna be different in the final product. Right. You know. Yeah, EX Scissors does not go through fireballs. Yes, no projectile invincibility, but he doesn't need it anymore no. because he can just grab the fireball and throw it back at you, so... Plenty of options. Yep. And even if you activate V-Trigger, you can dash through them. You know, you can do all sorts of things. Oh, nice, Alpha Counter. So that was uh, the, the V-Counter. V-Reversal. V-Reversal. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, we got there eventually. Gotcha, yeah. The V reversal, and uh, it's different for every character. They all serve different purposes. Like Chun Li's doesn't actually knock you down; it just pushes you at a distance that she prefers it. Right. Cammy will actually switch sides with you. So there's a lot of cool variety on that. Okay, nice. Oh, oh no, no, it's not a combo. Yeah, but he's using it for pressure. I really like him using that as pressure because it looks like he gets a lot of uh, frame advantage afterwards. Right. Yeah. Oh. Nice reversal uppercut. Gonna take him out. No. Oh. Again, that's not invincible. Yeah. So as soon as you see that, he might have just been able to like low jab uppercut. May might have been fast enough. Might be accustomed to not really pressuring Bison as hard because in SF4 he did have so many escapes. He had a lot of really good options to get out. Right. This game not so much. That standing fierce again. That's cancelable. I don't know if LPN knows that because I haven't seen him cancel it yet. A lot of muscle memory left. Yes. It was happening to me too, you know, I kept trying to do crouching medium kick and the scissors, it just doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, it's the, one of the hardest things was trying to unlearn a lot of things that we have built up in five, six years of playing Street Fighter 4. Oh, crouching medium kick has always been cancelable. You know? <laughs> yep. It's like I said, I, I feel like Bison, even compared to the alpha version which threw fireballs, I feel like this Bison is the most different out of them all. Oh, here we go, V-Trigger time. Gets the throw, okay. Now, oh, see, he got to keep applying the pressure there. Right. Because like you said, Bison doesn't really quite have great wake-up. Exactly, he has no options, really. Oh, nice jump back. And tricky thing, fireball. About, tricky thing about Bison, too, is that he can do the super in the air as well. And out of head stomps. And it's not a charge. His super is not a charge. All of his other moves are charges, but his super is not. Quarter circle forward, quarter circle forward, roundhouse. I really like that we're seeing some bison here, you know, I thought it was just going to be all Ryu, and it mostly was <laughs> Ryu, but it's nice to see 
with Bison as well. <laughs> He's the character that I would say I used most. He mm -hmm. and and Birdie. And Birdie, yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen Birdie yet, but I'm sure we'll see him later. Yeah, I mean, obviously, characters like Birdie, not a lot of people familiar with him, even from the Alpha games. And... He's Even quite if you different. If you play the Alpha games, he's nothing like that anyway. So, you know, he is a very different character now. He, he really feels like the most new of these characters. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're right, he's returning, but in a very different format. Right. Oops, I think he meant scissor kick instead of head stomp. Got the head stomp. Oh, here we go. Big damage. No, oh, but see? You, know, you, you want to do it. Yeah. You want to do it. You got to get rid of that habit. Yeah, we saw that a lot in Cross Tekken, too. A lot of people kept doing the... You know the chains, right? And it would really hamper their damage. It did take a while for people to figure that out. Yeah. Oh, nice. Little yeah, you know what? Jab I like his sand jab a lot. I found yeah. it anti-aired pretty well, a bit better than it looks like it would. It's just a quick move, a quick move that hits at a good height. Yes. And you can't, you can't crouch it. Right. Oh, here we go. Big damage. Oh, we probably tried to cancel low forward. Probably. Not so. gonna happen. See off of that beat trigger, those devils reverse the head stomp, the devils reverse moves are so good. Oh, but he just kept jumping in. He didn't use take advantage of his dash in V Trigger. As we said, he like has a teleport dash now. Right, right. I'm gonna really enjoy doing V Trigger dash up grab <laughs> while while that works, because I'm sure that's not gonna last as a mix up, but you know what? Last night it did. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm like, wait, he disappeared. What happened? Oh, he's next to me. It's just really nice to go from being a relatively stationary character as far as the walk speed, movement speed goes on the oh, ground, to okay. be very fast. Oh, okay. LPN found the found the sequence. Stand strong, low strong. You saw him doing that a bunch of times. Yeah. Now he's got the super here. Get some good damage off of that. I love that pressure. Oh, that's yeah, it. that's it. I love him using that flame every once in a while. Just so he can keep the advantage. Because after the scissor kick is blocked, even the short one, though it's safe, you don't have any frame advantage right. and such. So the low, strong, and the flame right there, that's not a true combo. You right. can get something in between that. But if the opponent chooses to block it, then Bison gets some advantage and some pressure. I really like that. I like how he's switching between the two. I like that move as an addition to his repertoire a lot because mm -hmm. it does give him that pressure. It gives him anti-air if you use it early as well. Mm -hmm. Oof. All right, oh, okay. trigger time. Yeah, let's speed it up dash. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let's speed it up. You saw Eve right there. Even the scissor kick looked like it teleport a little bit, so you can kind of mask between teleport and scissor kick. Woo! But see how long it lasts? Yeah, he still got it. Yeah, so it's good. It's really good for him. But every time you use the special move, as we mentioned, like Cammy, for example, he'll use uh, Cammy will activate her V trigger, but her special moves drain the V trigger fast. Right. So you only really get two special moves. Yeah, it works quite differently among the different mm -hmm. characters, which I like. I like that a lot. It you know, feels like each character is really its own. Yeah, this is one of my favorite things right now about this is that everyone's V skill is very unique. Everyone's V trigger is very unique. Yes. You know, even how much V trigger you have is unique between characters. I just, I really like the variation and the uniqueness from each character. Having, with every character having their own kind of mini system. Mm -hmm. I think that's really cool. So. Ah, so, okay, so... It, when uh, when Ryu does, when he has the V-Trigger going, right? Uh -huh. And you want to do charge up to the full Dungeon Fireball, right, which right, right. breaks guard. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If you use EX at the start, it charges up about four times faster, a.k.a. pretty fast. Because <laughs> it doesn't, you, the regular one charges up pretty fast already, so. <laughs> we're, we're definitely seeing... LPN figure some stuff out. We saw right. Crouching Fierce as an anti-air just a little bit ago. Nice. Oh yeah, he definitely does have advantage there. They might be good friends, but this is definitely a serious match. They both <laughs> want that, SF, or that uh, PS4. <laughs> See him using Stand Jab now to fake the, uh, the V-Skill. Cute. Now, one thing that Combo Fiend did that I started miming was after a grab, you can do a really nice little devil setup. Yeah, yeah stomp, yeah, yeah. stomp will end up there. 
If you want to, you can do Devils instead and end up in the front pretty safely. Hey, see right there, Buddha Man tried to punish that EX Scissors with Low Jab and didn't seem like he could get it out in time. Okay. So it's it looks it, like LPN here at match point, no, tournament it's a, point. It's three out of five. Oh, it's three out of five for the grand finals. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. So they have a little more chance here. Very interesting seeing this game played by somebody like Hudeman, who's whose nature is not so much to go in. Uh, as the guy we played with last night, is a very <laughs> different take on it, which is great. Oh, good to but see. he's doing a oh, lot of come on, man! That could have killed. He actually could have taken the round if he had done a combo. Yeah, because his stun is still up there. As you can see, as you're blocking, your stun still doesn't drain. I mean, he could have just outright killed. Oh, that's true. That's true too. Oh, oh yeah, that's gotta be it. it. Oh, oh no, but he did been. the jabs again. Yeah. Looks like he's testing out that stand roundhouse as an anti-air. So you see, he knees up to the sky, so it still hits pretty high up. Yeah, I, I, I used that a few times last night as anti-air. He has some options, that's for sure. Nothing like a dragon punch, but he has more than he did th than he did in uh, his, most most games actually. Yeah, if you can predict it, his crouch fierce worked really well as an yeah. anti-air as well. So. And same with the down up punch. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the flames. Little, the yeah, flames. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So LPN is now on tournament game. Wants that PlayStation Four. <laughs> and I'm really happy that he's doing it with Bison. You know, that's the character that I played second most in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. That's right. And so I'm really happy to see that he's as unique as he is now. Really makes me glad. Yeah, it's a really different take. Really it different is. take on the character. And that's kind of one of the nice things. There's a, They really changed a lot about a lot of the characters, you know? Stuff that you're really used to. Oh, oh, no. Got yeah. it. oh no, no combo. You can do low forward, low strong. I saw him do it earlier, but he just missed it. You see them really trying to play this careful footsie game. Once you figure out the timing for links, they really are pretty simple because of that extra mm -hmm. buffer window. But when we started last night, we were trying them with timing from other games, which is a little bit different. You, yeah. you actually are supposed to do it a little bit earlier, I feel, than, mm -hmm. than you think. Well, well, that's the thing, is in a lot of the other games, you tended to veer later. Ooh. Oh! I like the idea. Yeah. You tended to veer late on the links, because that way, even if it didn't combo, at least your move came out, and you can keep applying pressure. But in this game, you want to hit it early, which is a little different than what you're used to. Right. But, but as we mentioned, once we got that down into our system, it was actually really easy to land a lot of those links. Mm -hmm. And this, by the way, was not even necessarily on a particularly lagless TV. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although I thought it was okay. We're talking about last night. Yeah, yeah last we were, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah different. Yeah. We were uh -huh. just on a hotel setup, whatever yeah, the hotel, hotel TV was. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> no, yeah. no. <laughs> Definitely here we have we have Ben Q's. We're we're doing fine on lagless displays. Yes. Shout out to Ben Q for providing all the monitors here. So you can see all the options that Bison has in that mid-range. He has some good buttons, he has good anti-fireball stuff. You know, you can go to Devils to, to go airborne. It's just not the walk speed, right? So when people right. see the walk speed that's very slow, they're, they're worried about it. I don't think you need to be. Oh, did he touch a button? No. Oh, get Oh, in there. but why? Oh, was he, he looking for a Psycho, maybe? Yeah, he might have thought that it was going to trigger. Yeah, it doesn't actually trigger unless it hits. Has V-Trigger. They both do, in fact. Yeah, one of the things I will point out, though, is that the throw range, you can see, throw range is not huge in this game. Oh, got a kill! He could have. He could have. Again, just unfamiliarity with the, with the combos of what they actually wanted to do. Right. Oh! oh just catches him! He has some advantage there. Yeah. That could have been a PlayStation 4 winning round right there, <laughs> that V-Trigger. <laughs> Trying yeah, to keep you see it pretty safe now. Low roundhouse was not particularly safe on block. You saw the different animation of when it got blocked. <laughs> see what he goes for the setup here. 
Yeah, you can get some really ambiguous jumps if you get the timing right. Yeah, for uh, sure. Off of that throw. And it'll let you know if it's a cross up, but it's hard <laughs> to tell in advance. Yep. Well, at least you know afterwards. Right, yeah. Oh, here comes that pressure again with the flame, and then into the Devil's Reverse. I really like how he switches up between those. Oh, put himself in the corner now. This is Huda Man's chance. Oh, he backs off, though. Let's see if Huda Man can battle back. Dude, look how much damage he did with that V-Trigger already. You know it. Just a good oh, oh, did he get him? Yeah, yes. he did. He's going to end it with a Is Psycho Is that a PlayStation Rusher. 4? That's a PlayStation 4. Congrats to LPN. He took.